Welcome back to the Outer Known Tahiti Pro, quarterfinal number four in the water and a lot on the line. Not just a space into the semifinals, but also a place in the final five and qualifying for that Rip Curl WSL finals gets into that final five, Peter. Replay here, score is already in. Going to maneuvers here, looking for the barrel, doesn't quite happen for her, so she's gonna kick out. So just a quick wave there for Brisa. He's to really think about what's going on here and the implications. Here we go, Brisa Hennessy, second wave, stalling for the barrel. Can't slow down enough for that one. She's gonna kick out, she opened up with a 2.83, and she'll be waiting for a second score. Just going for it, gladiator style. Here we go, Lakey Peterson, back behind it, skips that first section and kicks out into the channel utilizing her priority. Yeah, and didn't get the barrel, so hitting the ball over the net, back into Brisa's court here. Gonna be a similar score to what Brisa already has. In contrast, Lakey's been able to build and get close to it. Brisa stalls on that takeoff, swoops a bottom turn, looks for the barrel, gets a little bit of a pocket ride, but kicks out. Um, without getting under the curtain. So Brisa Hennessy continues reps out here, searching for a wave, searching for a score. Can she put herself into position? Here she goes. Grabbing rail straight off the takeoff, going around that section and straining out. So the grudge match between the two surfers for that final five position. Brisa right behind her, grabbing rail and just unable to find room in the barrel there. So back and forth, it stay, stays oh. pretty neutral between the two surfers oh. at this point. Oh. It is so gnarly. Sit as deep as you can and find those little double ups as you can see them paddling right now. Brisa, a little oh. late. Oh. And Brisa going down. So priority switch to Lakey Peterson. So now Peterson can use some of the advice from Mike Parsons. And then at the end of the year, it's basically been quarterfinals and ninths for that part forward. Here, Here we, we go. go. Lakey Peterson dropping into this one, grabbing the rail. Let's see if she goes to turns now. No, stalls for the barrel and still a little bit in front. A little cutty on the shoulder before kicking out. Hopefully she can get back out and regain priority. We'll see uh, the positioning of Brisa Hennessy at this point. 3.19 needed right here, Kaipo, to be able to try and get herself out front. Real quick here in the break, just a quick one, 0.13 again. That might have been an opportunity there. But you are only allocated 35 minutes. Brisa Hennessy drops in, pulls in the barrel, travels through spin, oh! and she comes out. That could be the game changer for Brisa Hennessy. That was epic. A smaller wave, but super deep. The wave just hooks its guts out, and she comes out after the spit. That's exactly what Brisa will be elated at the moment. Right on the ledge, it lipped out, and she just dropped in, got really low, grabbed the rail, and just threaded it as it spit. She came out right after. I mean, one of those beautiful moments for Brisa, and elated as she came through that. That was a beautiful work for, for Brisa, and finding that wave that you need to have on that inside ledge. So we were talking about positioning. It's everything right now. Watch at the bottom of this one as she just compresses onto the board, puts that back knee onto the board, and that was everything completely behind it. Yeah, it's a small wave, but look at this thing. Hoof its guts out, and she comes out after the spit. Yeah, it was a small wave, but that was a very deep, very technical barrel ride, and she is going to take a massive lead. This is going to be it for Lakey Peterson. This is her season on this wave. Peterson drops in, grabs the rail, seeking the barrel, finds the barrel, threads through that first section. A little celebration needs to throw a turn in there too. Remember, she needs an 8.13. <laughs> she thinks she has it. But then take a look here. This was the moment. I love that we got the chance. We didn't have to have the Hooter sound at the end with no waves. We can now sit here and wait it out. What happens? Lays it into that final move. It's going to be Lakey's best wave. 
And this wave, remember, it needed to be at 8.13. Comes in at 6.27. That's all you can right ask Right behind for. her, though, the answer back with Brisa Hennessy. So Brisa is going to elevate the bar and answering back to Lakey Peterson before the Hooter. So that could be the game changer. It absolutely is. In my eyes, she's going to probably improve. You saw her come out of the barrel. So it's uh, huge if she can improve on that 2.83 because that's going to push the number for Lakey. She got this behind Lakey. Yep, there you go. Quick little tuck. It seems to me like it should be better than the 283 with the carve, too. Oh, the relief. It has to be so incredible. Congratulations, Brisa. That was, I know, one of the toughest seats of your life. Lakey, congratulations for making it happen. That was fun.